So Kanye West is starting to, quote unquote, wake up the woke black people, or should I say the so-called woke black culture one by one. So there has been a series of um, statements that's been released by the Kardashian family and others who are um and other people who are of the Caucasian race who are standing with and you know they're speaking out amid Kanye West's so-called anti-Semitic comments, deeming it as hate speech, says it's never excusable, it's never okay or excusable. We seen Khloe Kardashian come out and said, and there's been a few others as well. We seen Kanye West get canceled left and right. One of the banks, he's no longer allowed to use that bank. They're cutting ties with him. Balenciaga, all these different high-end name brands are disassociating themselves with Kanye West. Right? So as you see people cutting ties, and Kanye West is not the only one. This is why you hear me frequently say, we're all being played. See, when Kanye West wore that T-shirt, in my opinion, and this is just my opinion once again, Kanye West is a pawn. Ironically, his name is Kanye West. Kanye West, who goes out there and con the people. But that's a deeper conversation for another day. I've grown up a huge Kanye West fan. I admire Kanye, very influential. I always think of that quote when he says, if you're a fan of Kanye West, you're not just a fan of me, you're a fan of yourself. Because I encourage you and I influence you to believe in yourself at the highest level, to be the best version of yourself, to go after your dreams. But it took for me a while to understand that I always looked at things from the black and white area. I never looked at the gray area. And when I started to separate and remove my emotions, I seen that we are all being played. They're using this for a division, which is why I didn't agree when Kanye West wore that white T-shirt. When I didn't agree when Kanye West wore that White Lives Matter T-shirt because it didn't do anything but got the black people outraged. So in turn, what do you think that how do you think the white people felt when they seen black people wearing Black Lives Matter T-shirt? It's all a division. Cause an uproar and cause division. Divide and conquer. That's all that's happening. Now, what they do is they're going to slowly wake us up to this agenda that they have now. That way they're, dist that way they're distracting us for the future agenda. So by the time we wake up to this one, we don't even see what's happening ahead of us. As I said, Kanye West is just a poster boy. It's just somebody that goes out there and they put him on the front lines and he take all the all the wounds. You know, he go under fire and get all the criticism. Right. He get all the backlash. They send him out there and we get upset at Kanye West. Meanwhile, they all on the same team. But once again, that's a conversation for another day. I'm not going to get too deep into that. But as I said, now people are starting to see it's, this is deeper than just Kanye West. And that's why I say it's a distraction. They're silencing people and they're saying it's hate speech. Unfortunately and sadly, our community, black people, we have been conditioned and programmed to be we have been wired to be emotional since birth. Because we've been shown slavery so much. So they could always use the slavery narrative to control us. Right? But what slowly what's happening is they're deeming everything. They're blurring the lines of what hate speech is. So basically, Kanye West, as you see in the comment section, a lot of people are starting to wake up. They're saying, hold up. Wait a second. 
So when Kanye West spoke up about black people, they didn't have nothing to say. They didn't care. I mean, black people, we wanted to cancel Kanye, of course. Because as I said, nobody even knows the truth. They've been lying to us so much that they have control of the court system. Everything is flawed. It's all corrupt. And that's what y'all not seeing because y'all want to pick a side. But y'all not seeing that we are all being played. They control both sides of the chessboard. And that's one thing that people got to wake up and see. And I try hard to get y'all to see. But y'all so busy picking a side, whether it's Kanye or whoever. All those who pretend to go against Kanye, they really with Kanye. That's why his name is Kanye. But the fan side of me would not allow me to not support him and his music and his cause because I've grown to be a fan of him. I've admired him. But I also got to understand it for what it is. But at the end of the day, as I've said, they're deeming everything as hate speech. So now... Whenever you try to go to speak the truth about anything. It's going to be deemed and considered hate speech. Do you not see when you're on Facebook? It's a lot of things that you can't say no more. Now they put you in Facebook jail on YouTube. You have all these celebrities who can go up there and show their bodies all show their butt cheeks and, you know, be half naked or be naked. You got the Cardi B's of the world doing these videos, tongue kissing and, you know, doing mouth to mouth with another woman. Right. Kissing another woman and they showing off their bodies twerking and all this stuff. Got these people up there with guns in the video. But let you say one thing. Let you say one little curse word or let you, you know, say one little thing that they feel as though. Shouldn't be allowed. They're going to they're gonna bang you from YouTube. Y'all not seeing what's happening? They're using all these guys, the Andrew Tates, the Sneakos of the world. All this stuff is being done so it could be considered as hate speech. So you can't tell the truth no more. And pretty soon, they're going to be like, oh, send Kanye away to, to a mental institution. He's crazy. That's what they're going to say. You, you, you see what they're saying now? Oh, I hope he get help with his mental illness. So you got people starting to say, wait, is Kanye West really telling the truth? Is he really telling the truth? A lot of people are starting to see. They're like, man, like. If they're not upset about what he said about black people, but they're upset about the Jews, then somebody must control something. And he might be right about a lot of stuff. Wait, you telling me that they can make music. About guns and, you know, black on black crime, us hurting people. That's not a problem. But as soon as Kanye West says something about the Jews, it's an issue. What's up with that? But it's considered hate speech. It's called control opposition. And that's why I don't even care no more. When I hear Kanye West speak, I don't even care no more. I say because I know where it's going to end up at. We can't have no leaders because we're going to turn on the person. We're going to say, oh, no, nah, because they got us so brainwashed. We so controlled emotionally. That's why I don't even say nothing no more. But they considering everything as hate speech. Did you take your meds? Oh, you must be crazy. You need to go to the mental institution. And if you're not going to be in the mental institution, then we're going to take you out. Simple as that. And as I said, Kanye West is just a poster boy. He's just a pawn. That's it. Great musician, great entertainer, but a pawn. They have him going out there and revealing all this stuff, and we ain't going to do nothing but buy into it and be emotional about it. But as I said, we're going to continue to slowly wake up, and as they wake up, they're going to usher in a new, a new agenda. Or what they call the New World Order. I see people online. Oh, Kanye West 
is fighting the Illuminati. He's fighting the Illuminati. He's fighting the system. And when I was growing up, bro, I'm not even going to lie. When I was like around like 12, 13, I used to sit in the room and, you know, I'd be so caught up into these conspiracy theories. But then I thought about it and I heard about this whole notion of selling your soul. And I started to think, I started to process to me. I said, hold up. The things that that they were saying that was so demonic, so evil, selling your soul for fortune and fame for money. All these rituals, the secret society and, you know, they just worship Satan, blah, blah, blah. But then I, as I started to look around and started to analyze society and I said, man, hold up. People selling their soul every single day. People selling their soul every day, bruh. You got women that's on OnlyFans. Showing their body and, and, and sleeping around for, for a buck, for a dollar. You got people doing whatever for clout. So ask yourself, is it real? The whole witchcraft stuff. You, man, it's people. Bro, if you look at the people that do the witchcraft stuff, notice they use the little sage thing. Now they got, at first, that it's a past, I cannot remember his name, but he talked about how, you know, using sage, you know, you you really inviting the demons in. I got to find that pastor, but it's deep. And then they already talk about how the celebrities worship the stars and the moon, the, the Ishtar and all these different kind of stars and stuff that they worship. And then just now you analyze and you look around how women is so deep into astrology. All this symbolism. They so into the stars and the moon. Zodiac signs. Like you're starting to see all these things that was considered evil, demonic, started to be normalized in society. Pansexuality, like all this stuff that you've seen that we always research and thought was a conspiracy as we look around is happening in today's society. So that's why I said selling your soul thing is an illusion. You know, the stuff that they perpetuating and propagating, the people are living out those lyrics. People going crazy. I know I ain't the only one that's tripping. But you see how people turn on you. They're supposed to be your ex-husband. The father of your kids. Ain't no loyalty. But like I said, turn on you quick. Your own people. Man. And like I said, you're starting to see people slowly wake up in the comments. But like I said, they're going to wake up and it's going to be too late. Unfortunately, everything is going to be deemed as hate speech. You're going to get banned. Right. They using all these celebrities, Sneeko, Andrew Tate, Donald Trump, Kanye West. They use all these celebrities. They just pawns. 